Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today, guys, um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about what I feel like are the best defensive badges here in 2K20 this year. Now, obviously, this can be very, this can be very different depending on what builds you have. Um, there's a few, though, that I would say are base badges that any build would want to have, and I'll go through with those. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we're looking like for these badges, and I'll go through and explain why I feel like all these are necessary. Now, I'm just going to start this off. Since I, I have 20 defensive badges, which is quite a lot, but I'm just going to say if you have like three for like an offensive threat or something like that, the ones I would put them on are um, clamps and, and intimidator. I would put them that way is what I would do because I just feel like those are the most overall effective badges um, and those would just work the best for um, a build with a limited amount of defensive badges. For my build, this is what we are going with. I have clamps Hall of Fame, Chase and Artist Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame, Pickpocket on Silver, Tireless Defender on Silver, Trapper, Rim Protector, Pick Dodger, and Interceptor all on Bronze. Now, I've experimented with this a little bit, and I really, really do like it this way. First things first, I'm going to start off with Clamps. Now, the reason I um, have this up the Hall of Fame, and I suggest everyone has this, is just because I feel like it, it works very well. It helps you bump people, and it helps slow them down. It helps them change directions laterally when they're running up the court, so it just helps. Um, and again, um, it helps, as it says right here, it helps you hip ride the, the ball defender. You're able to bump them more um, and do well with that. And then Intimidator obviously helps with so many shots. Um... It's just a great badge to have. I love having that on Hall of Fame. It makes people miss a lot of shots they normally shouldn't miss if you're getting a good close out. Trapper, Pick Dodger, and Clamps all work together, as, as well as Tyler Spender. That's always working. Um, but Pick Dodger, Trapper, and Clamps all work together to help steal balls. And then Chase on Artist, Interceptor, and Rim Protector um, all work together when I get blocked. I just feel like when you have the badges that chain together, it makes them better than just having them. Um, singular and then I'll chase an artist. This is the one that's questionable But I'll go ahead and show you guys some clips of some blocks that I've gotten with this badge It is one of these badges that it, it's very nice to have because you get some great like you get some great block animations here like, Jump over people sometimes you'll even fall down because you jump high, which is kind of annoying uh, But it doesn't happen too very often. Um, that's what we got for those Hall of Fame badges I'll go ahead and show you guys those chase down artist clips Pickpocket, I honestly, you you okay? I would imagine you would think, oh, put Pick Dodger up the Hall of Fame, you know, help um, with steals and things like that. Um, but I feel like it doesn't do a very good job when you have it up the Hall of Fame. I just don't. I feel like it. You can. I feel like you can leave it on silver and have just as high of a chance of stealing the ball as you do when it's higher. Um, one thing I do notice there is a difference between the layup strips. There's been a few times where like someone, if you're under somebody and you don't jump and you try to spam and um, block the earth, spam and steal the ball, you will sometimes get a layup strip. But I usually don't do that. I try to block them more of the times than not. There's only certain situations where I would try to you know strip somebody into a layup. Um, but I feel like pickpocket is one of those badges that it really doesn't work the higher you put it. I feel like putting it on silver is fine. Um, same thing with Pick Dodger. I feel like if you put it on the Hall of Fame, it doesn't need to be there. I feel like it works just as well to putting it on a bronze. Um, that's my opinion. I just feel like it works better that way. And I like having Pick Dodger on bronze and then Tireless Defender on silver because when you get hit by a screen, you lose less energy by having Tireless Defender. But that also, the Tireless Defender also works when you're stealing the ball. So you're, you're losing more energy, um in more categories by having tireless defender on um silver instead of like pick dodger on. interceptor i like um i've tried putting this a little bit higher that, that one works you can put it higher and you're going to intercept more passes but i feel like bronze is fine you still get quite a bit of steals you just time them right you get in the right spot you cut off the passing lanes you're getting those steals rim protector i like um it just helps um you know you, ha you have a better chance of blocking shots um, and it also helps with the block animations with chase an artist you get a little bit more crazy animations as well as when you get the block you're gonna get more on your takeover meter which is helpful and then trapper I like a lot that um that works very very well with clamps um, if you could only have clamps up to gold I would definitely put trapper on here somewhere if you without trapper you do not get nearly as many ball pickups um, people don't pick up the ball nearly as much if you just have clamps on with trapper um you just they pick up the ball a lot more often i feel like all those badges are really nice i feel like they re really really work well in unison together um overall you can get some um good steals and um 
just play good play good defense and you know help out the team so i'm gonna see if i can run into a game right now real quick see how this will go i can just kind of show you guys a little bit of what we are working with we'll probably just play with these randoms here on this walk on court and see if we can get this game all right so we're gonna get in this game i have no clue how this is gonna go if it's gonna go bad or good but i can kind of show you guys what i'm talking about with the defensive badges um one thing i am gonna say tireless defender does not show up um while you're using it it just it's a passive thing um, it's similar, I think it's to Handles for Days, it doesn't, I, I can't remember if that one shows up or not. It's one of the playmaking badges, it doesn't show up, um, when you're playing. We're just gonna see how this goes, I, I really have no clue, these guys that I'm playing with aren't, like, crazy good. Um, we'll just see how this, sometimes you can get some picks. Um, but as you guys can see, I kinda, when I, I took that steal animation, I kinda leaped out. That is, um, something to do with having pickpocket as well, um, that is, uh, a, a benefit of that. You get different steal animations, now there. I didn't want to go help because they would they would have passed to him, back to him. Let's see. Oh, that's not going in. Um, oh, the sender got the ball. Oh my gosh! Why can't we make a shot? I missed two. That other the center missed two. Like, oh goodness. But here, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what this what this bad system looks like. So usually, trapper doesn't show up either. It's very it's very seldom it shows up. Um. But see there, Intimidator, it showed up. It didn't come up before he shot the ball, but it did have an effect on him missing that shot. If I probably didn't have Intimidator, he would have made it, is is what I'm trying to get at. Because it is something that, oh, we'll actually pull this out and see if, yeah, they're not going to be able to guard the center. Just post him up, and then if he kicks, yeah, kick that way, and that guy should be able to shoot. What is going on? These guys are bad. I'm playing like really, really bad this game. Um, we're only down by three, which I'm kind of surprised about. He's gonna shoot and he's making that. Um, one thing I do love about this build is your ability to grab rebounds. Like you're able to grab rebounds over other guards, which is really just, I know it's not really related to this, this topic, but like it is something that's very, very nice to be able to grab rebounds. Like if your center's out of position, you still have that opportunity to grab rebounds. You, can, you have a really high vertical. Let's see if he can he can't catch lobs, but that other guy isn't even playing defense. He's I don't know if he's lagging. I'm not passing him the ball though. He'd be he'd be dumb if I was if he thought I was gonna pass him the ball after he doesn't play defense. Like wh why would you even? I don't know. He's gonna take a dumb shot, I already know. But as you guys can see there, if you hold LT there, it clamps him up and then he's not able to move as well. And I know, I didn't mean to like use the badge in like the reference of the name. Um, but there we pass him on the center, we tied up the game. Um, but as I'm trying to say, if, if you hold LT, it usually, you know, hesitates them from moving a little bit. And then the, if you get, a, if you bump them, you're, you're set. Like, you're good. Um, as you guys can see there. Like, there we played really good D. We can't get the rebound, though. Um, we had a good shot against us. Like, we just weren't able to finish the play and get the rebound. But other than that, you know, it was, it was a pretty good play by our part. Um, what is this man doing? Okay, he's greening that, of course. Um, but now our center is takeover, so this game should be this game should be fine. Oh yeah, I really don't think we're. I don't know if we'll lose this game. I really, I really don't know.
Yeah, I don't know if we're going to win or not, but let's see if we can play good defense. Of course. And they, they, we, we didn't play very well that game, guys. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a gameplay there before the game ended. But yeah. And this guy's been King Clutch here, guys. Hopefully, you did another video. Anyways, have a great yesterday. Be out, guys. Thanks.